Hey there. Okay. If you've been following along, then I hope you are enjoying things so far. It's been really basic and maybe kind of even boring, I guess, if you uh, came for all of the design goodies. But thank you for hanging out and sticking with it because we are really pouring the foundation, especially in this video, to be able to breeze through the whole process of reskinning a whole bunch of templates like this really, really, really quickly. So in this video, what we're going to do is go ahead and create that um, brand kit as I promised you. So of course there are other videos on how to do that, but I didn't want you to have to like go find a whole other course or something. So I figured I might as well include it for you really quick. So pretty simple. What I have done here is from the home screen, gone ahead and clicked on brand. We are in brand kits. I'm going to hit add new and we're going to keep rocking, rocking with victory view. So now I've got that name. Now, if, if you watched in the last video, you saw that I uh, create how I created the logo from the brand board. So I'm going to go ahead and upload that really quickly. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Um, you can add a brand voice, which is really, really fun and easy to do. One thing you can do to opt like to do that quickly is take like a sample of your writing and your words, give it to chat GPT and ask it to analyze it for you and tell you like what the brand voice is and how it would summarize it. Then copy paste that answer right in here. Uh, so <laughs> that's one easy way to get around that. I have already, um, let's see. I don't know if I have these. Um, I don't think I have these on the desktop, but if you had like a stock collection of photos or whatever that you were going to be working with, you could upload them here in your photos and your graphics, um, as well as icons to keep everything really consistent and cohesive. You can even um, upload custom fonts from places like Creative Market, which I highly recommend. And I will be curating a special set of fonts and graphics icons, things like that from Creative Market and making them available here on the Scaling with Soul website. So definitely keep an eye out for that and uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you can find out uh, when that happens. So you'll definitely want to click on that bell. All right. So um, as you just saw, we have uploaded the logo. Now I want to focus on getting the color palette correct as well as our fonts. Now, if you remember correctly, we picked a uh, dancing script for our primary. And I actually want to make that a little bit bigger. And then and okay. Okay, so now I've gone through and really quickly just added all of the fonts so that Canva will know exactly how to do everything for us as we reskin real fast. It'll be all there ready for us. Make everything so much faster. Next, um, I'm just gonna split my screens here so that I can make this a lot faster. And I'm basically what I'm going to do is just go one by one and grab the uh, colors here and add them to my color palette. So I'm going to just click on each color, go up to the little colored square and then grab the hex code copy and paste it in there, hit enter, boom, on to the next one. I'm going to go up here, 
copy, paste, enter. Copy, add new, paste, enter. Copy, paste, enter. And I'm using control C on my keyboard to copy and then control V, enter on the keyboard. Control, paste, enter. And what you'll notice with mood boards is you're always going to want to have, you're going to want to have um, your primary and secondary colors and then uh, a mix of like your, so basically like a couple of dark, a couple of medium, and a couple of light tones so that you can create contrast in various areas. So you can see I've got a couple of the darker ones and then the mediums and then the lighter tones as well. Okay. Um, all right. So beautiful. Now we have added our logo and our mood board colors and um, I can even add the photos that I want to use to make it a lot faster if I want to. Um, or graphics or whatever. So uh, in the next video, I think, let's see. Yeah, it's time to go ahead and just start reskinning all of the templates that I was showing you before. Where did they go? Okay, so it's going to be a collection just like this, but we're going to be doing them in our new colors. So I'm looking forward to seeing you there as we begin the best part of the whole process. I'll see you soon.